Hello there, Sarah from 17 once again, bringing you another Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 commentary. And this time, it is a domination on the map Carbon, and I'm using the M4 with the suppressor on it. And it's a pretty fun game, this one. I was playing with a couple of people in a party, one of my subscribers, and he knows who he is. And uh, we had a pretty good game. It was fun, it was competitive, and this time we, we managed to smash some dudes. So... Straight off the spawn, I go straight towards B, because I can see nobody's even interested in trying to cap it, so I ask my buddy, we lay on it, we start getting this shit done, and we're going to try and work the spawn trap on C if we can. And I say spawn trap loosely, because it's not like we arrange to do it, it's just one of those things that happens when everybody pushes up and starts trying to, you know, shoot them where they live. And, unfortunately, I get blown up by a grenade that sets off a barrel. But, back into the action, I cast the predator missile down, it picks up one kill for me, and I'm back into the center. And a couple of moments in this video, you're going to see my aim be kind of crappy. I don't know why. It was one of those times where I was trying to get on target, but my brain was fighting it. And I have no real excuse, but still a pretty fun gameplay. But I don't want to do a play-by-play -play for this, even though I am tempted to, because it's been a while since I've done a Call of Duty commentary. I actually want to talk about a topic. And I've got to put a disclaimer on this topic, because it could offend some people, because... Even though I say don't get offended, people get offended because, you know, there's a bunch of fucking sensitive pricks out there that can't take a joke. And that's just the internet, that's just real life, that's just how it works. And my disclaimer is, uh, this topic is about gays, but this is by no means me saying any kind of judgement towards gay people. It is just a personal preference from myself. I know gay people, I have nothing against people. What anybody wants to do when it comes to sexual orientation is entirely up to them. That's how it is, that's how it rolls. A counter-argument to this, playing devil's advocate, I do believe gayness is funny. But I believe anything is funny in the right context, because I'm the type of person that does not like anybody to say you can't make a joke out of X, because I think as soon as you make that distinction, you're the person who's drawing up those boundaries and saying what is right and what is wrong. And if you become the person that does that, you're a hypocrite. And I hate being hypocritical, so I just take the piss out of everything, because I find it funny. So, take this with a pinch of salt as you will, but it's actually a pretty serious topic. And uh, I watched a documentary the other day, and it was called I Woke Up Gay. And for all those people from the 1950s, that does not mean he had an erection and he was happy. That means he woke up and he wanted to actively fuck men. And I, I started watching it because I was like, what is this about? And I, I just thought it was going to be some, you know, some titillating title that gets the, the viewer into watching a program he's not too interested in and it gives them some unnecessary ratings because uh, being gay is a hot topic sometimes because for some reason there's persecution, there's prejudice, there's all that good stuff and it, it's just like, you know, feminist movements, it's just like everything else. You can't wear a fucking tattoo to do a job because for some reason a tattoo on your skin makes you a bad person. It's, it's just the bullshit and it's just, you know, these archaic rules that have been ingrained into society by old men essentially and I watched this program and it was just crazy it was the most fucking terrifying thing I've ever seen and uh, the reason for that is because uh, I like women I am a straight person I have a girlfriend I love her she's beautiful she's awesome and uh, I cannot imagine myself liking anything non-female because guys to me are just guys, they're just fucking dirty, hairy, gangly motherfuckers that, you know, I would not want to get intimate with, because that's just my orientation, I don't see that. And obviously, if you're gay, your biology is different to mine, and you have, a, a, you know, an affinity for men, and I can't imagine having it, but the story that happened to this guy could happen to any of us, it could happen to me, and, and what happened is, I think he was in a car accident, and it caused him to have a stroke, and when he came, and when he awoke from the stroke, his entire physical makeup had changed. His persuasion had changed. He woke up, and he was gay. His body had changed from having a girlfriend, being a rugby lad, you know, being the stereotypical, you know, boyo, into, like, he couldn't understand what he was feeling. He didn't. It didn't make any sense. He had an attraction towards men. He had an attraction towards, you know, the the, the more feminine sides of of masculinity because. At the end of the day, I think it's the whole origin of, of, of gayness. I've not researched it, so don't fucking drop knowledge on me here, people. It is an imbalance in your body. Because when, when we're all born, we're all born female, and there's the chromosomes that go into play that, you know, make sure that we, we either go male or female. And some people have an imbalance of this, and it probably explains their attraction to the same species. It's the same with lesbians. It's the same with all that good stuff. But this guy wasn't. This guy was straight. And he had a stroke, and his body made him gay. And 
it, it kind of documented following this character and you know his his life after this this event because his entire family had effectively disowned him because like for some reason people cannot accept being gay they can't accept gayness it's, it's fucking horrific and it's too much it's like a shame it's like a slight on the family name it's it's bizarre, but it happens because everybody's so uptight, because everybody's so fucking, you know, self-conscious about their image and their standings in society, because being gay is against, it's counterculture, essentially, and it's only counterculture for the same reason that cursing is, for the same reason that nudity is, and it's because we've been told from such a wrong, from such a young age, sorry, that it is wrong. I mean, even the fucking Bible, this book that was written by, you know, old men who wanted to control the societies and who wouldn't listen to them say that, you know, lying with another man is a sin. So there's this whole fucking, you know, religious act going against anything of the sorts and then you get ridiculous companies like fucking God hates fags. When at the end of the day, God created fags, so why the fuck would he hate them? If he loves all his children, why would he dislike the ones he made a little different? It's fucking ridiculous. But this guy woke up gay, his family disowns him, and it, it cuts between the his old life and his new life, and now he's he's like he's dressing better, he's he's more hygienic. And how did I miss that motherfucker? Look at him, laid in a doorway. And he's he's got nice hair, he's a hairdresser, he's he's doing everything he likes, and he's happy. And to me, that's the important part. The guy was happy. He couldn't, he didn't want to change. There's all these people saying like, oh, you can do these kind of therapies, you can do, you know. Wish the, pray the gay away and all that stupid fucking Bible Belt nonsense. But he didn't want to because he was happy with himself. He was content. And don't get me wrong, he'll never be able to go back to his old life. But he's happy. So fuck it. What's what's the problem with that? But the thing that that resonated with me was, I, I don't like men. <laughs> It's that simple. It's like I do not watch porn to see big dicks. I see I watch porn to, to see attractive ladies getting big dicks. And don't get me wrong, there's the whole, you know, element of porn is better with a dick in it, but I think that's just because I kinda put myself in that role. I'm not secretly wishing I was down on my knees polishing it with my mouth. And I I can't imagine waking up and being a different person because just think that this could be anything. This could not just be your sexual orientation, this could be your character. And it actually brings me to something very interesting, which, which is temporal, um, your temporal lobe, your front lobe of your brain. Uh, a lot of serial killers have been attributed to uh, damaging the front part of their brain. And this is the part where judgment is stored, where empathy is stored, where conscience is stored. And obviously, if you have that damage or it gets impaired, it stops you from being able to, to effectively be a human being. And that's where a lot of sociopaths come from. And they blame a lot of this on, on you know, psychopathy and stuff like that. And can you imagine if you find out that you had a brain tumour or you had something wrong with your body that made you the person who you were? Would you want to have that rectified? Because essentially, you would be changing who you are. You'd be changing your characteristics. You'd be changing your mannerisms. You would become a different person. And I like who I am. So I don't honestly know if I could say yes. If something that was potentially threatening my life would change who I am. I don't know if I'd want to. How terrifying is that?